Lawmakers got together this evening for the annual Wild Hog Supper. It always happens the night before the legislative session starts and Hope Ford managed to talk to the few of them that were there about their goals for the next session, Hope. Yeah, and Faith First, we just heard Nick, of course, talking about those voting machines being outdated. Well, I talked to the new Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, who is ready to secure funding to have new voting machines across the state by the 2020 election. If we can get a machine that actually move more voters through those lines faster, that'll be something that I'm going to look at. I'm an engineer, and so I always look at process flow. So we're going to look at the best technology that's cyber secure. And I think that people are going to be very pleased with our next generation of voting machines. And meanwhile, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan says he's ready to start building relationships with senators as well as focus on health care and price transparency. And he says he wants to push to make Georgia the technology capital of the East Coast. Meanwhile, Governor-elect Brian Kemp didn't take questions from reporters, but both he and Commissioner of Agriculture Gary Black touched on helping Southwest Georgia recover from Hurricane Michael. That storm devastated the area last October. Lawmakers already passed a local bill to help with hurricane relief last session, but Black says he's focusing on getting low interest loans to farmers and he hopes to push more funding at the federal level. That, uh, that relief is needed and uh, so we're going to be working with them in the coming days as well. And of course, as the federal government shutdown continues, several local lawmakers touched on it briefly with me, saying they hope this doesn't do significant harm to Georgia's economy and they hope TSA can remain effective without having to shut down the Atlanta airport.